y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome to my channel um as you have read by the title in today's video i'm going to be doing the top 10 pros of being an introvert if you're an introvert like myself this video may be very relatable to you so don't forget to like this video comment if anything that i say in this video is relatable to you and if you're new and haven't subscribed already or you just clicked on this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel don't know what an introvert is so an introvert is someone who pretty much tends to be a loner they're pretty much more reserved they gravitate more towards not being around a lot of people if that makes sense so if you are an introvert then you know exactly what i'm talking about the first pro of being an introvert is you just enjoy your own company you don't necessarily have to be around other people to feel like you know you have to be doing something but at times it does get like boring and you want to be around other people but for the most part most introverts do not mind being by themselves pro number two is you're content with being alone like um there's nothing wrong with being an extrovert but most extroverts i would say they like to be the center of attention introverts we can step in a room we don't mind being in the corner we don't mind being in the background and it is it is what it is pro number three is being an introvert you have less drama to worry about you don't have to worry about he said she said they said and all of that so pro number four is you understand that you don't have to be like everyone else and that kind of goes back to not feeling like you have to be the center of attention, not feeling like you have to seek attention from the wrong people. Because sometimes attention could be bad attention. Like sometimes people just seek attention just because, you know, there's something within themselves that they feel like they're lacking. But you, as an introvert, you understand like you don't have to be like everybody else. You can be your own self. You can be your own person. You can ride your own wave you can lead your own whatever like whoever like it like it whoever don't don't a uh, pro number five is as an introvert we can be extrovert people but we have to be around the right people that's going to make those type of things come out of us like introverts we know how to have fun we just got to be around people that we like to have fun around number six is most introverts are very creative and original. I have learned a lot from just watching YouTube videos when it comes to like making things, sewing things. I'm very good at drawing. I'm very good at dancing. It's a lot that I'm very creative at. I've learned how to do my own hair. I've learned how to do some of the little tricks and trays of the makeup thing. Like a lot of that stuff I have learned because I take time to be by myself. I take time to study things. I take time to focus on things. And most introverts, like I said, are very creative and very original. Like there's no photocopying somebody else. Pro number seven is we are very independent. Very independent people. We tend to not rely on other people but i realized i can only speak for me i realized as an introvert and i don't even think it's just me being an introvert i think it's just me in general uh people tend to rely more on me than i rely on them which is not a bad thing at all but i just feel like as an introvert we tend to have more independent qualities about ourselves we like to get things done how we want them done and that's that number eight is Somebody who may not be an introvert, trying to befriend an introvert, I feel like it comes with great benefits. One being that as an introvert, we tend to sit back and be quiet, which means that we're taking in a lot of information. When we're taking in a lot of information, I mean, we're listening and focusing on detail. 
So if you're one that's trying to befriend an introvert, I believe that you will have great benefits of becoming a friend with the, with the introvert. There's nothing wrong with introverts hanging out with extroverts, extroverts hang, hanging out with introverts because everybody is different. And like I said, there are sometimes situations where an introvert may showcase you know more outgoing qualities about themselves and then there's just times where it's just like i just want to be laid back and that's okay number nine is we really take pride in who we call a friend now this friend word has been thrown around like too loosely nowadays and when it comes to calling somebody a friend when it comes to an introvert we have to really pay attention to why we feel like this person is considered a friend, why we feel like they may not be considered a friend. So we really take pride in who we call a friend, which means that <clears throat> you're not gonna ever see, you. I won't say you're not gonna ever see us with a group of people, but if we are with a group of people, it's maybe no more than two or three people. And these are people that we are like really, really close to. So it's no fake friend, no fake sis, no fake bros that we're hanging out with. If we're hanging out with you, it's because we really and truly believe that you are a good friend. And then the last pro of being an introvert is we notice everything. And because we notice every, everything, we act accordingly. So if you feel like you got one up over on an introvert, then I think you need to reevaluate some things because as introverts, we pay so much attention to detail. And then on top of that is we can know something, but we're not gonna speak on it. And I feel like we're not gonna speak on it just to see if you are gonna be real enough to speak out. We can have some type of intuition, even if our intuition is wrong, just the way people move it just make us be like, okay, I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna pay more close attention to that. I'm gonna see how they move. I'm gonna see what they say, and then we're gonna piece two and two together. And then, depending on the outcome, we either gonna continue rocking with you or we not. So those were the top ten pros I believe being an introvert. If you feel like most of those were relatable to you. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Every day I'm trying to learn a little bit more about myself, get out of my comfort zone, and just, you know, be me and be me unapologetically because those who going really vibe with me is going to vibe with me. And those who don't, it is what it is. So if you like this video, don't forget to like it, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And all of my social media accounts will be in the description box below. Go follow me on TikTok. And I will see you all in my next video.